Hey guys, Spooks here, and welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Today we've got famine and pestilence. Uh, they were kind of they were kind of like hand in hand for the third horseman. Um, so yeah, we've got the plague. Because what what better to match pestilence? That's kind of going to be the theme we go with here. We've got maggots all over us. Mm. So for that, we've got septic touch. Uh, don't actually know what this one does. Okay, whenever a survivor performs a healing action in your terror radius, they suffer from blindness and exhaustion. Not that useful. Infectious fright. When we down someone, anyone in our terror radius will scream and we'll be able to see them for six seconds. Hex ruin. So this will make it until either the hex is broken or the first survivor dies. When survivors stop repairing a generator, it'll automatically start to regress. And then make your choice because the famine and pestilence horseman also carries a scale. And would you look at there? What's on that? A scale. This makes it if we're further, if we're 32 meters and further away when someone gets unhooked, the person who unhooked them becomes exposed for 60 seconds. And then for add ons, we've got both emetics because emetics are something that makes you throw up essentially so this just increases the effectiveness of our vial purge by 40 percent and this increases the velocity of projectiles by 10 percent and then a rotten oak so i feel like we've got a pretty good setup for pestilence fed so if you guys have a build you think would work better let me know down in the comments below but for now let's go ahead and hop on it three hours later Okay, so you'll see that I have different, I have different add-ons because I literally ran out of the other two that I had, as well as I ran out of the other add-ons that I had for the offense and everything else. So... It's been not great, and I keep getting sent mostly to the game, but I would prefer the game over this. Now I saw you, I was just teasing. It was just a trick. It was just a silly silly. Yeah, see if I can get a down before they finish two or three gens. Oh, I cannot believe I got that. You little... Why am I not surprised, Why? Tell me, why am I not surprised? I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna walk forward. He's not gonna stay off of that very long. Does that person have scene partner? Okay, Dwight healed himself. So we're going to do this and go right back. He's going to go for the unhook. There it is. Well. Sorry. But also don't really, don't really care. If I'm being honest. Can't get a clear shot in here. You silly little lad. If 
silly. Nuts. Pay your taxes. right now. I see it on there. It's not going to matter. They're going to burn through those other three gens so fast. Just like, good grief. Not even surprised at this point. I'm just very disappointed. Okay, yeah, that made sense. You wonderful friend. Is there no door? He's still exposed, but he's got such a lead, I'm not gonna be able to catch up to him. the end of that exposed
so fucking tired of this. What? Lady's exposed. They hang on to this by the seat of my pants here. Oh, they let the white die. Sweet. Oh my gosh, is this gonna snowball? Can I snowball it? Please. I don't think I can, but maybe. I saw her go for it. He's gonna distract me. That was a bad decision. Shit. I need her dead. Oh, so close. Freaking way. You have to cut out so much audio. <clears throat> Are you, Dwight? I know you're not far. Can I puke on her while she's laying down? You can see when Dwight comes to pick her up. Oh, that guy! Wait, 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 wait! He just got it infected. Gotcha. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe I was somehow able to snowball that. I take you further away. Oh my gosh! I don't need you to have power struggle. So we're gonna walk around that. Holy crap. That was not a good match for me. I... I didn't do very good. I didn't have very good attitude. I apologize. But man, you guys don't know how many matches I just played. Oh, hallelujah. Alright, well that was our Pestilence and Famine build. Hopefully you guys had a good time. I, uh, I definitely played a lot of matches. That, that's what I'll say. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend this build too much. There really isn't a way to slow down. You, you'd think Ruin would, but unless you can be a killer that you can bounce from gen to gen pretty consistently, it doesn't keep them off from long enough to really do anything. But if you guys have a build you think would work better, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, stay spooky. Toodle!